Namaste, I'm Brittany Shanae. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to do a morning yoga flow, which you can really do any time of the day, but it's a great way to start the day. So we're going to start by sitting in a comfortable seat. You can take a soft gaze down to the floor or close your eyes. Begin here by just sinking into your mat. Noticing how your body situates onto the floor. Notice any tension that may be in your head, your shoulders, or your neck, and see if you can just let that go. Start taking some deep breaths here. When we breathe deeply, it creates space in our bodies. It's ideal for proper circulation. that's ideal for relaxation. If you're having trouble feeling relaxation, and instead there's tension and holdings in your body, just take note of that right now. Bringing your palms together in front of your chest, in front of your heart space. Begin to bat your eyes open. And you're gonna take a nice big inhale, lifting hands up overhead. Exhaling, bringing them back down. Inhaling, hands up. Exhaling, bringing them down. Inhaling, arms up. Palms touch. Let the right arm fall, bringing the palm down to the mat and the left side body over to the right. Taking your gaze up to the ceiling and keeping your spine straight. That might require you to bring your chest forward. Inhaling, we're gonna bring both arms up and switching sides. Bringing that right body over to the left, remembering to keep the chest forward and the hips square and down on the mat. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, going back over to the right side. Stretching, opening up the left body. See if you can take it a little bit further this time. Inhaling, arms up again. And we're switching sides one more time. Opening up that right side of the body a little bit further this time if you can. Inhaling, both arms up. See if you can stretch your back, almost bringing your shoulders up and your hips down, and release. Now getting yourself comfortable in your easy seat. We're going to inhale both arms up, and slowly folding forward all the way over our legs. Getting a nice deep stretch in the spine, extending arms out in front of us. Palms facing down. Option here to let the neck hang. If you notice any tension, be mindful of that. Many of us with sedentary lives tend to have shortened and compressed spines. And this is a great stretch. We're gonna inhale up, palms touch, and down to heart center. We're gonna do a few cat cows, bringing the chest forward. Exhaling back, inhaling chest forward, exhaling back, inhaling, back. Now start to roll out those shoulders, front and back, maybe move your neck around. Now we're going to come to all fours. Take your time here. Stacking the shoulders over the palms and the hips over the knees. All right. And now we're going to lift the right hand out and over to the side into a twist. And then bringing it under, palm face down, threading it through. Inhaling, raising that hand back up. And threading it through the elbow and the knee.
getting a nice stretch here in the shoulder blades. Remembering to breathe. Inhaling, scooping the arm back up and placing the palm back down to the mat. Switching sides. Inhaling, arm up, back. Exhaling, threading it through, bringing the ear towards the mat. Inhaling, raising the arm back. Threading it through. This time, bringing the ear all the way down to the mat. Remembering the breath. Inhaling, raising the arm back up for a twist. Exhaling, bringing the palm down to the mat. Now for some extensions, you're going to bring your right leg back and raise it up behind you. And sending the opposite hand out in front of you. Balancing yourself through your core, making sure you're not sinking into that right shoulder, and lowering back down. Take a cat-cow here to release the spine, then we're going to switch sides. This time sending the left leg back, when you find your balance, raise it up, extending that right arm out in front of you, keeping the back straight, not sinking into that shoulder or to that rotator cuff. Being mindful of any pain in the knees. Lowering it down. Cat cow here if you need to. Returning to the original side, we're going to extend our right foot back behind us. Once you find your balance here, raising it up and off the mat. This time adding a crunch, meeting the elbow and the knee in the center of the body. And extending it back out. Bringing elbow and knee to the center. Extending. Exhaling in the center. Inhaling an extension. And lowering back down. Take a cat cow here to release the back. And then we're gonna switch sides. Left leg goes back and up. Right arm goes out in front. Inhaling deeply and extending out across the spine. And exhaling, joining the knee and elbow together. Inhaling, extending, exhaling, bringing them together, keeping your balance, remembering to stay straight, not sinking into the joints. Please regard, again, any knee pain. Feel free to cushion your joints in any pose. Bringing it back down to center, taking another cat cow to release the spine. Press into your palms, curl your toes underneath your body. Begin to raise your hips and your tailbone up to the ceiling, bringing your head between your arms and drawing your navel into your spine. Rock your hips back and forth here. Start to wake up your hips, your calves, your hamstrings, your Achilles heels, and begin to bike pedal out your knees if you like, waking up the toes as well. This is a chance to really open up your upper back and neck area uh, with a couple of head shakes and nods back and forth. Then slowly and carefully start to lower your knees down towards your mat, but without touching, and then bringing them up and back lowering them down again towards the mat but not touching and then sending them back again lowering down towards the mat 
and then bringing them back up lowering the knees again and coming down all the way sending the knees out wide bringing the toes together lowering the chest towards the mat and resting the forehead on the mat as well welcome to child's pose the idea is that your hips will be low towards your heels so make sure you sit all the way back if you're like me and your hips rise that's perfectly okay if you think you might need extra support in this pose, you're welcome to use a pillow or a bolster underneath your torso. Raise yourself back up. Taking another cat cow here to release the back. Again, we're going to curl our toes and send our hips and our tailbone up and back up towards the ceiling for downward facing dog. And then we're going to send our right leg back and up behind us for three legged dog. Hold here for a moment. Begin to roll out those ankles, opening up that joint several times both ways. Bending and extending the toes as well to open up those joints. And then taking a bend in the knee to open up those upper quads. Straighten the leg back into three-legged dog. And then bending the knee and bringing it towards your chest underneath you. And lowering the leg back down. Switching sides. We're going to lift the left leg back and up behind us. Rolling those ankles. Waking up those joints. Putting a bend in the knee, stretching the quads, bringing that knee over and down towards the chest and lowering it back down to the mat. I'm gonna switch sides again. Three-legged dog, right leg back and up. Bringing the knee back to the chest, this time swinging the foot between the hands. It's okay if you have to scoop them there. Lower the left leg down to the floor, finding your balance. Back of foot rests on the mat. Swinging arms up for a big inhale. We are now taking low lunge. Here, make sure your spine is straight and that your shoulders fall away from your ears. Again, if you feel any joint pain here, feel free to find any cushion and a blanket or a bolster. Bringing palms together and down to heart center, keeping your balance here. We're going to enter into a twist, turning our torso toward the right side of the room. Keeping palms together. Remembering your breath. Keeping your balance. And bringing it back towards the front. Inhaling, arms up. Folding forward, bringing palms down to the mat. Scooting that right foot toward the outside of the right hand. Bringing your right palm inside your right knee. And leaning in with your left thigh. Opening up the quads there. Twisting as much as you can go with every exhale. And release. Regain your balance here, rising up again for a low lunge. Keeping those shoulders peeled away from the ears and the spine straight. Remember your breath. And exhaling, bringing hands down toward the mat. We're going to extend the right leg out for a half split. Keeping your left knee at a 90 degree angle. Hips stacked. And the right leg completely stretched out in front. If you find you need extra support, feel free to place blocks underneath your hands. And now you can release that right leg back down into all fours. 
Take another cat cow here if you need to release the back or whatever movement feels right for you. Then you're going to send your knees out and wide. Send your hips back down onto your feet as they come together. Lay your chest down on the mat. Head down on the mat for child's pose. This is a good time to catch your breath and prepare for us to switch sides. Inhaling, pushing into our palms up, bringing our knees together back into all fours, curling the toes and extending the legs back, hips up for downward facing dog. This time lifting the right leg back for another three-legged dog, bringing the knee to the chest and then swinging the foot between the hands. Again, that's okay if you have to scoop. Lowering the right knee down to the mat, finding your balance here, inhaling arms up overhead, Making sure that left knee is at a nice 90 degree angle. Palms touch, bringing them down to heart center. Twisting to the left side of the room this time. Remembering to keep the back straight. Be mindful of not leaning over towards the knee, but keeping the spine erect all the way up through the head. And untwisting, facing forward. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, bringing your palms down to the mat. Bringing the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Palm to the left knee. Leaning forward and opening up the upper right quads this time. Twisting yourself as much to the left as you can. Keep breathing. Feel the nice deep stretch. Release and start to bring the left foot between both hands. Extending the left foot all the way out for a half split. Heel on the mat. And release. Inhaling, raising up for low lunge. Exhaling, lowering palms down to the mat and bringing that leg back for all fours. Taking a few more cat cows here to make sure we release that spine. It should be good and warmed up by now. Start to send your knees out, bringing your feet together and lowering the chest down for child's pose. Inhaling, pushing up through the palms, back onto all fours. This time straightening up for an easy push-up position. Keeping elbows in, begin to lower this torso down to the mat. Allow your legs to follow, but keeping palms pressed down into the mat alongside your chest. Then pushing up through your palms, only raise your torso off of the mat, pressing chest forward, allowing the head to raise, and then lowering back down to the mat. Again, take a nice big inhale, Exhale and lower back down. Keeping the tops of the feet flat down onto the mat. Inhale, rising up again. And releasing back down to the mat. Inhale, raising up. Exhale, releasing chest to the mat. 
find your center here as you prepare to extend your arms out in front of you, stretching out in opposite directions from your feet. Prepare to essentially crunch through the back as you begin to lift your arms, chest, and thighs off of the mat. Begin to take a nice big inhale and lift and hold, extending through the body, balancing on the belly, and then lowering back down. Complete body flat on the mat. Get ready, inhale and lift, hold, exhale, lowering down to the mat. Inhale one more time and exhale, lower back down. Again, we're lifting up. This time, swimming our arms back to catch our ankles behind us for a bow pose. But first, taking a break, lowering our chest and head down. And when you're ready, you're gonna inhale and form the same motion, raising the chest up off of the mat, pushing through the thighs, balancing on the belly, remembering the breath and releasing. Don't worry guys, that's gonna be the only one we do today. This time taking a break in crocodile pose, you're gonna stack your hands underneath your forehead and take a rest. Keep breathing. Notice how you feel in your body. Notice what's changing. And pushing through the palms, we're gonna send our hips back, not into child's pose, but we're going to actually sit back on our heels and prepare for camel's pose. Next, we're gonna raise up on our knees and bring the palms of your hand to either side of your low back. Fingers facing down. Take a deep inhale as you start to send your hips forward. Allowing your shoulders to come back and your chest to come forward and gently release. And then coming back up to the knees, pushing the hips forward, bringing the chest up. Exhale and release. One more time. Inhaling, pushing the hips forward, bringing the chest up. Option to start to reach for your ankles behind you. Remembering to keep the glutes tight and supporting the back. Also remembering the breath. And gently release, slowly coming up with the hands on the back. Exhaling and releasing all the way down. And now you're going to lower back down with knees wide, feet together for child's pose. Releasing the low back. Now spreading the ankles apart, the width of the knees, and sitting gently back into frog's pose. If you need extra support here, this is the perfect time to grab a pillow or a bolster. It'll go under your torso, across your body, perpendicular to your mat, or parallel to your mat between your arms and your thighs. Allow your body to gently and safely sink into this pose, propping yourself up on your palms and align forearms which are parallel to each other. You can take your gaze directly out in front of you or straight down onto the mat. Inhale, begin to push yourself up and begin to make your way into a seated position in whichever way feels comfortable for you. Your feet are going to be extended out in front of you in the seated position. 
preparing for a seated staff pose. Inhaling, hands up overhead. Exhaling, reaching all the way for the toes. Toes dorsiflexed up towards the ceiling, reaching as far as you possibly can. If your hands don't meet your toes, that's okay. Just get as close as you can, so long as your back is supported. This is a good place for a bolster as well, either underneath the knees, if that's where you have the most space, or underneath the torso on top of the lap. Inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, palms together to heart center. Inhaling, arms up again. Exhaling, forward fold. Reaching out for the toes, maybe you're able to go a little further this time. Inhaling, arms up, straightening the torso, exhaling, palms touch, hands to heart center. Slowly begin to lower your upper body down onto the mat for a laid out position. Bring both soles of your feet onto the mat. Situate your hips evenly onto the mat. Palms facing down next to your hips, down by your sides. Now inhale as you press your palms into the mat and lift your hips off of the floor. Hold here for a moment. And gently lowering down. One more time, pressing palms into the mat, making sure feet are flat and sending the hips up. Exhaling and lowering them down. Bring both knees to the chest to release the low back. Maybe bring your nose towards your knees and release. Keeping grabbing hold of your knees, maybe rocking back and forth. This will massage the low back. If you're tender here, this is a great way to give your lower spine a little tender love and care. And then grabbing the outside of the feet, the knees are gonna bend up towards the armpit space. Begin rocking back and forth here in happy baby pose. Maybe put a smile on your face. Happiness is a great way to start the day. Hold here for a moment, and then begin to straighten both feet, both legs, up towards the ceiling. And then with control of your core, and a deep breath, slowly exhale as you slowly lower your legs towards the mat, until you come into a complete lying position on your back. We are now going to take our final resting pose here, Shavasana. There are a few ways that you can lay out with either arms out towards the sides or up overhead. Legs can be as distant apart as you'd like. We'll be in this position for approximately five minutes. Make sure you're good and comfortable and your body is evenly distributed on the mat. Allow yourself to breathe naturally, reflecting on your practice today, honoring yourself in this rest,
Begin to bring yourself back into the space. Bringing your consciousness back into the room. Wiggling your fingers and toes. Slowly batting your eyes open. Begin to plant both feet into the ground, soles down, and bringing knees to the chest. Taking another rock here, as many as you need as you slowly continue to bring yourself back. Maybe rotate your knees out both ways, clockwise and counterclockwise. Do whatever feels good to your body as it's reawakening. Continue to breathe with your movements. Now in whatever way works for you, you can bring yourself up to a seated position on the mat. Take your time here. Palms together, inhaling, hands up. Exhaling, arms down. Again, inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, arms down. One more time, big inhale all the way up. Palms touch, hands to heart center. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, namaste. And that's cut!